this mother ball? B. Our wedding is in two weeks' time, and you're asking me why I'm smiling. Oh. I know everything is happening real fast. But you know, if someone had told me that I'll be getting married this year, I would have argued in every blood in my vein. <laughs> to think I started this year being single, and now I am getting married in August. I should be happy. I love you so much. You have brought so much light into my life. And honestly, I can't wait to be your wife. Same here. <sighs> what is it? Why? Why? Do I need a reason to make love to the man I want to get married to? Getting married to and not yet married. Jesus, what is that? For crying out loud, what is your problem? We've been dating for six months. And in that six months, we've only made love twice. You even had to get drunk before you could get down with me. Val! Jason, what? Baby, what is it? Don't you find me attractive? It's not that, Val. It's not that. Then what? It's not what? About. It's not then who is it about? Can we please not do this today? Jason. <laughs> you don't mean it. Seriously, you did that? <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> of course, I'm set. Yeah, I'll pick you up soon. All right, all right. Okay. Who was that? George, my friend. And you expect me to believe that? Well, Jason, you know it's two weeks to our wedding, so I've been thinking. I've been thinking of spending one of the weeks with my friends. And who are these your friends? Jasmine and. Wesley, the guy. Mm -hmm, yeah. I don't get it. Spending one week with them as how? All I'm saying is, I want to spend quality time with my friends because I don't think I'll be able to do that after our wedding. So, I was thinking on going on a vacation with them. You want to go on a vacation with a guy two weeks to your wedding? <sighs> Jason, don't put it that way. This guy is my best friend, remember? <laughs> George again. I'm coming. Yeah, I know we're late. I'm coming. <clears throat> so I, I was just saying that I want to spend time with my friends. That's it. That will happen under my nose. How? The only way you will spend your quality time with them is by inviting them over. <laughs> that was a joke, right? You can't be serious and fight them over. I haven't been more serious. I'm off to work. Thank you. And why is your face like that? 
Did your mind break your heart? Did someone get dumped two weeks before her wedding? <laughs> you guys are just the craziest set of friends I've met in my life. I'm, I'm glad I'm getting rid of you in no time. On a serious note, what's up? Okay, the thing is, I... I want to have one week fun with my friends. Wow! <laughs> that sounds like a plan. <clears throat> so, tell us, where are we going to? Tell me, a resort? If I start hotel, or where? My house, Jasmine, my house. Yeah, inside my house. Your house? house? My, my fiance doesn't want me to go out. He doesn't want me to leave the house. But that doesn't make any sense, baby. Absolutely no sense. Look, I'm not coming to stay in that house with your man. For a week? Please, no. Please. Just do this for me. It's new. It's a no-no for me. Okay. Can you just do it for me as my wedding gift? I'm not asking for too much. Just one week. One week and we're done. Look. Okay. Thank you, guys. I love you so much. Both of you tomorrow. Okay? Love you. Love you. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Is even already there. Mm. Are you sure they won't find you? Okay. That guy is so mean. <laughs> Man, he's under the table. <laughs> like, see, 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 I'm very big. Just wait, see what they do. Go to open window. She does not like me. But little did she know that I don't like her either. That's my fiancé we're talking about though. Come on, Jackson. Jackson, I would have preferred someone else for you. <laughs> not her. How can JC be laughing? His friend just said he doesn't like me, and all he could do was laugh. I have always known he doesn't like me. Probably he has a wife candidate for Jason. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, George. Jason is taken by me, and there's nothing you or anybody can do about it. I won't let this bother me. After all, my friends are coming over tonight. And that's all that matters. Yes. Well, my thanks to lot, my thanks to the hospitality. I think I need to start going now. Uh, let's move away. The film is very interesting and uh, it's always a pleasure coming around. You're always welcome. But we need to keep it straight, you know what it is. Are you ready to go? <laughs> yeah, ready to go, bro. Uh, hope I'm not forgetting anything. I'm not going to forget my whole experience calling me. I want us to talk. Okay, when I come back. Now. I said we will talk when I come back. And I said I want us to talk now. As you can see, I'm stepping out. We should just step in. Madam, I don't get it. 
Do you have a problem with him stepping out or stepping out with me? I have a problem with both. Do you think I do not know that you have been arranging girls for him out? Val! What? What's wrong with you? Jasmine, you better talk to her. There's a limit to what I can take. There's a limit to what I can take. Yes, come on. Yep. Oh my goodness, you came. Well, you wanted it as a wedding gift, so here I am. Aww. <laughs> Please come in. It's good to see you. Good to see you too. Wow. Let me go to you. Thank you. Hello. Let's go. He still doesn't like me. Well, if it were you, would you like you? Mm, no, I will not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, let me get it. I'm glad you came. Yes, um, you know, I'll do anything for you. Oh, even when it's not convenient for me. Bestie, you're here and that's all matters. Yep. So are you planning on having something serious with her or this is just a thing? I don't know. Do you tell me, do you think I should date her? What do you want me to say? Like, I am getting married soon. Exactly. So. You're getting married soon. And life won't be the same. Yeah, life won't be the same without you either. That's Jasmine's voice, right? No, she's not at all. How? Yeah, I hear someone else's voice. I'm coming in to talk. Okay. Yeah. Jasmine! Hi, girlfriend! Hello, hi. Hey, wow! Wow. Hey! What? Hello. Um, Valerie, I know I'm the last person you want to see right now, but I'm sorry girl, I'm here. So what makes you think you can just walk into my house without an invitation? Come on. Ah, come on, calm down. Calm down. Please don't tell me to calm down. You know Bella and I are not friends. Okay. That's fine, Valerie. I'm not trying to be your friend again. I'm just here to have fun. Really? So this place looks like an amusement park, right? Okay, can you please calm down? Huh? Just calm down. It's over a year. Forgive and forget. After all, you're getting married in two weeks. Mm -hmm. You know what? It's okay. You don't. You don't need this right now. Let's just all have fun together like old times. Uh, yes, yes, let's have fun. So, can you show us the room now? Yeah, please show us to our room. Hold on. Okay, I have just one room because I invited just one person. Well, it's fine. We'll share. Of course, we'll share. Mm -hmm. So, let's go. Yeah, um, are you scared to help me pick my bag? My sleeve. Just help me. I'm sure. Um, uh, I will. I will. Why not? Yeah, it's just our room. Thank you. I'll get the bag. <laughs> Hey, so, hold on. Oh, sorry. Hold on. I need you. Follow. Okay. Let's just have fun. It's just a week. Where's your husband? I haven't seen him since. 
And why are you eager to see him? Eager? I'm not eager. I haven't seen him before. Well, he stepped up with a friend. He will soon be back. No. Oh, <laughs> how's the wedding preparation going? Perfect. Jason has everything covered. <laughs> well, how for when you get rich as I'm to be? And this um, get together was a plan, you know. <laughs> Oh, my baby is here. Hey, babe. How are you? I'm good. And um, Jasmine's here. Hi, Hi Jason. Hi, Jazz. This is Bella. Don't worry, you don't know her. Hi, Bella. Hi. Babe, come join us at the table. Don't know that I really have to. Oh, okay. I'll just be upstairs. It's just that you're getting married soon. Why? Am I too small? No. Um, I know things are going to change between us and also knowing that your fiancé does not like me one bit. So what do you want? That I don't get married? You want if I ask you to? I can actually do anything for you, you know. Really? Then don't get married. What's <laughs> <laughs> funny? Hey. What are you guys up to? Hey, Jasmine. We were just doing the dishes. Yeah. Oh. Okay, it's fine. I can help you do it. So you go meet your husband upstairs. Of course, I'll gladly leave this to you. Okay guys, good night. See good you night. tomorrow. It's fine. Good night. <coughs> She's getting married soon. Yeah. I know that. Good night, Jazz. Good night, Jazz. Why can't you just tell me the thing you're telling her is making her laugh? Good night, Jazz. Can't you just with me? Why did I offer to do this dish? Far, what was the meaning of that? Meaning of what? That out there. What about it? You only mentioned Jasmine and Wesley. Who is the other girl? I didn't invite her over. She came with Jasmine. Do you have a problem with that? Because this is my house and not a guest house. I want her out of my house first thing tomorrow morning. What? You heard me right. But you don't have a point. I'm seriously dead about this. Just get her out of my house. Wait a minute. Is that something you're not telling me? Is that something I need to know? Suit yourself. Going out so early? Maybe to the gym. Whatever.
Wow. Really? Um, you don't have to do this, you know. I came here without invitation. The least I can do is clean. So. Is that the man you want to marry? Excuse me. Jason. Is he the one? Can you hear yourself talk? Does that question make any sense to you? I suddenly heard you're getting married. It shocked you? Yeah. I was shocked. Because the last I checked, you were single. But that's not the point. The point is, do you even know the man you're getting married to? Well enough to marry him. Okay. Wait, wait. Is that something you're not seeing? Is that something I need to know? Not at all. It's just an innocent question. That better be better. Wow, this is beautiful. Jasmine, take a look. Oh. <laughs> this is nice, right? Yeah. Now, let me show you this other one. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here. Yeah. Look at this one. Jasmine. Oh. There's so many beautiful. I'm confused at the moment. Valerie. Yeah. I like Wesley. I like him. <laughs> yeah, he's your friend, so you should like him in the first place. Oh, that's not what I'm talking about. I like him, like... I like him so much. Wait, like... You have a thing for him? Yes, that's the point. Yes. Interesting. But wait, I, I'm a bit confused. Because we all have been friends for over four years. Why am I just finding out? The truth is that I've always liked him. Why well, since he likes someone else? Funny. Uh, so now what do you want to do? You know you're closer to him. Can you talk to him for me? Please. Well, you are his friend too. So, I think you should talk to him. It is not proper for me to. Talk to him on your behalf. Why? Because you like him? Ah, um, Tell me. Is it because you like him? Valerie. So, I was thinking since um, you and I are now cool, how about me being your maid of honor? <laughs> hey, Bella. You never don't finish. You won't be person made of honor. Why you not just tell us to take your measurement, may you wear the wedding gown instead? Just can you interrupt somebody? I know how to torture you. Yeah, um, you caught me on a way. <clears throat> um, do you love him? I am getting married to him. That is not the answer to my question. Well, it depends on your definition of love. You know, it's not that difficult. Just a simple yes or no. You do. Asking a lady whose wedding is in a few days if she loves her fiance doesn't sound right, does it? You know you're overreacting, right? I am not overreacting, Wesley. 
Asking me if I love Jason simply means you don't think I love him. Do you? Well, yes. Yes, I do love him. So don't throw such a question at me again. That is satisfying. Even if it isn't, it doesn't matter. Not anymore. You know, you don't have to be like this, right? Wesley, I invited you over to have a good time with my friends. I didn't invite you to ask me my stand with Jason. Whatever makes you happy. even the time. I think it's March time. Yes, well, please let's watch on you. I think it's March time. Hi. See who we had here? George, right? Is your name not George? <laughs> Anyways, um, Jasmine and Valerie went shopping, so if you need anything, I'm here. No, we're fine, thank you. I bet you are. What is she doing here? Yeah, I forgot to tell you. She's one of Valerie's friends who came over. And you forgot to tell me something like this? Doesn't it bother you? I just think it's something I shouldn't be bothered about. Are you being serious right now? for a few days. That is not the point. She's your fiance's friend. Come on, man. There is no way she's going to tell Valerie. She's got a secret to keep too. So, Cheryl. Ah, Let's watch much, please. What are you doing here? I can't sleep. Why? I guess I still can't afford peace knowing I wronged you. And who said you did? Wesley. Wesley. I shouldn't have spoken to you the way I did. 
I am sorry. It's okay. You shouldn't be here. You know, Jason. He's should... sleeping like a log of wood as usual. Wait, he still doesn't? Are you happy? Look, this is my advice to you as a friend. It is not a do or die. Your happiness is priority and all I want is your happiness. I know. What are you doing? <laughs> Who's that? Jesse. What are you doing here? Um, I, actually, I can't sleep. I, I don't know if I can spend the night here. Tell us not so badly. Please. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, why not? Thank you.
For how long are you going to continue to act like we don't know each other? As long as you are in my house. Does she know? No, and I would want you to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> Do you know that's not easy? Two million. Two million. For what? Mouth zipping fee. I should give you two million naira to zip your mouth. It's negotiable. That must be your joke. Okay, fine. 1.5. Listen, you know the repercussion this will have on your forthcoming wedding if I tell Valerie. And I'm sure 1.5 is worth more than that to you. Please, can we have this conversation later? As you can see, I'm ready for work. Okay, fine. I'll wait. What do you think you're up to? Pardon? You and Valerie used to be friends. Both of you were the closest amongst us. She told you things, shared secrets with you. But of all men in the world, you decided to date the same man she was dating because she told you juicy things about him. She cuts you off, and now you you're sneaking around with her fiancé? <laughs> Just hold on a minute. You think I'm trying to get close with Jason? Jason of all guys in the world? Oh, you can do better. And who even told you you can confront me? Who? <laughs> you don't cease to amaze me, Wesley. I mean, you have the guts to be in Jason's house comfortably. Have you forgotten I know? Have you? I... Maybe... I don't mm. understand. What don't you understand? How do what you... What don't you understand? I thought you said you, you're always winning. Wait, relax. You know it's. Wait for what? Wait, no, it's been a while I played this game. Oh, you're now you're giving me. excuses? It's I been a while excuse. I played this game. I'm not giving excuses. Wait for me, I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm, I'm waiting. I am not making excuses. I'm waiting. You know Let's that. go. Pick two, pick two, pick two, pick two. Oh, Wesley. What? <clears throat> what? <clears throat> Somebody's cheating. <clears throat> You're seriously cheating, I am and it's not nice. And you're saying I am cheating. No, you're cheating, like, Wesley. No. Who, who does that? How can I have? Eh? Who does that? Let's go. I'm not playing with you. What is that? You're cheating. <laughs> what, Wesley? No, don't, don't do this. Bring, no, don't. Bring. <laughs> um. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. I have to go make lunch. Yeah, I'm starving. Why does it seem to me like you're confused? Confused? How? It seems you're in love with someone and you're getting married to another. So how does confusion come in? You and Wesley are still very much in love with each other. Obviously. 
Jasmine. Me in love with Wesley. That is ridiculous. Mm. Valerie. Valerie. You know what? You have a very rich man to yourself. And you're getting married soon. Why don't you just let me have Wesley? Huh? <laughs> Why would you say a thing like that? You of all people should know that Wesley and I are just good friends. Good friends. And honestly, you can have him if you want. I'm just saying. You know, I just hope inviting these guys here doesn't end up being a mistake. Hmm. Valerie, this food is delicious. <laughs> of course, she should be used to the taste of our food by now. Funny how you all see me as the devil, whereas you all have skeletons in your cupboard. Yeah, I slept with my friend's man in the past. Will I be the first to do that? No. Oh, yeah, of course, you can do that if you want. Valerie, you are not a saint, not even Wesley, and not even your fiance, Jason, is. I have tried to apologize over and over. But you haven't given me listening ears. At this point, I don't care. Hmm? You can hate me all you want. After all, you all are shitty. You think I don't know? Is that what you think? <laughs> now listen, let me tell you. If you keep treating me like the shitty one, I'ma wash your dirty linens in public. Wait, is that a threat or something? What's going on? I'll be right back, please. That you were talking about out there. Exactly what you think it is. Listen, this isn't about your threat outside, okay? I have forgiven you. I don't need your forgiveness. You didn't give it when I wanted it. Instead, you went telling everybody how I slept with your boyfriend and they tagged me a prostitute, painting me black. Painting you black. <laughs> How was telling people what you did to me paint you black? It wasn't like I lied against you. Like I said, I don't want your forgiveness. Okay. I want something else. What do you want? I want to be your maid of honor. <laughs> so those who hated me have in Bella, of course you and I know that is impossible because Jasmine is my maid of honor. Okay. Two million. Excuse you. Two million for what? You now smoke? Oh no, there's no way I'm letting you light this shit in my house. Oh really? Your fiance is the only person allowed to smoke? <laughs> My fiance does not smoke. <laughs> you didn't say that right, did you? Did you? <laughs> 
goodness, your viewers does not smoke. <laughs> wow, this is this is this is really really funny. Alright. Do you even know the man you're getting married to? <laughs> Do you? Girl, listen. I think you need to pause this thing so you're doing thorough research on this man you're getting married to. Seems you know him too well. Well, I think you should ask your husband to be if he smokes or not. is getting married yes uh, everyone knows that already what about you don't you think it's high time you settled with someone well if I find that one person I will what if the person is right beside you but you don't just see it nah nobody catches my fancy right now not even me. <laughs> I like you, Wesley. Come on, I like you too. That's not what I mean. I love you. I'm in love with you. Why don't you just say it? <clears throat> um, uh, maybe because I didn't expect you to feel that way towards me. Well, now you know. I love you. Thank you. Thank you? That's it? If it was Valerie that said she loves you, I'm sure you would have been thrilled by now. Oh well, because it's just me, it's a compliment? Thank you? Really? Why don't you just go ahead and tell her you love her? Come on, can you calm down, Jasmine? Calm down. Really? Please excuse me. I think I wasted my time. Ja you a question you should answer me I'm not in the mood for this please you're not in the mood for it it is a simple question Jason do you smoke yes or no we've been together for six months if I smoke you will know well Bella told me to my face that you smoke and considering the fact that you wanted her out of this house immediately you set your eyes on her proves that Jagons. Excuse me, Jason. I'm talking. What's wrong with you? Jim! Yeah. Mad. Slightest thing. That's none of your business. Fine. Bella, don't forget that if you get me exposed, you too will be exposed. It's not like I care. Everybody already sees me as a bad bitch, so what difference does it make? I'll write you a check of 500,000 there tomorrow. 
and I want you to leave my house. It's 1.5 million. Where's my check? I don't want to come back here and beat you. Hey, hey! What's this? 500,000? My money is 1.5. Don't test my patience. Leave my house. Oh, owe me one million. Hey, hey, what's that? None of your business. it to my bag. I brought it out. I dropped. Yes, 
He took it from where? He was going there. I dropped it here. I dropped it here. Are you okay? I... I want to tell you something. I also want to tell you something. Then go first. I know I shouldn't be saying this, but I want to get it off my chest. We have referred ourselves as friends, but I know deep down our hearts, we mean more than that to each other. Okay, I, I don't know about you, but for me, you mean more than that to me. And the thought of you belonging to another man, it's killing me. And it took you this long to say this to me. Do you know how long I have waited for you to say this to me? For you to say that I mean more than a friend to you. I thought you didn't want to see me in any other way than just a friend. And I, I, I didn't want to forfeit what we had. No, Wesley. I was the one who thought you, you'd never see me in that way. You were the one dating different guys. I never saw the need to date any other girl when I had you in my corner. I am getting married in two weeks. What do you want me to do? Nothing. I just want you to know that I love you. I, I love you too. Do you mean nothing? No, I'm not a baby. I just saw Valerie sneaking out of your room with a toy on her chest and you said nothing? I don't know what you're talking about. Wow, you don't know what I'm talking about. What is this? Open, let see for yourself. Where did you get this from? Does it matter? Wait, did you forge this because you think Valerie is the reason I don't find you attractive? Excuse me? Why don't you go and ask her for yourself?
Hello. Okay. says that you're two months gone. When were you going to tell me? My sleep is calm though. Don't tell me to calm down. When were you going to tell me? I was going to tell you but was really Shut up! Shut your mouth. You're not going to tell me. You're carrying my baby and you're planning on getting married to another man? Are you going to give my child to that incompetence for you? What? You two have been having sex? Oh gosh, the, the both of you are disgusting! I have never been more disappointed. Don't call me. Don't fucking call me. Sleeping with my own friend who is getting married to someone else. Doesn't make any sense. <sighs> oh, Bella said it. Bella said it that everyone is cheating. Don't let me know! <sighs> How could you betray me this way? What's going on? Did you know? That? Do you know Wesley and Valerie are sleeping together? Do you? Is that what you're shouting? Wait, you knew? Yes, I knew. Oh. During your birthday, I saw them in the room. That was when I caught them. But then I didn't take it seriously because Valerie's in a serious relationship. Ah! Okay. I'm the same too! Do you know I spoke to Valerie about me being in love with Wesley and she didn't give me a reason not to? Is she supposed to? At the expense of our wedding? 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 I would definitely pay Valerie for this. She will pay for this! Okay. It's getting hot. Don't come on in. Please, can we talk? Wesley, please. At least hear me out. I am not saying you shouldn't leave, but can't. Let's, let's just talk. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean for you to find out this way, but I didn't know how to tell you. And you thought keeping it from me was better? I was scared. I was scared of telling you and you telling me to abort the pregnancy. I was scared of losing my relationship with Jason. 
because I didn't know my stand with you. Wow. Nice excuse. Very nice. Oh, please, Wesley. This is all your fault. What? Yes. This is all your fault and you put me in this mess. Oh, wow. Hold on. Hey. hey! How are you? I'm good. So, somebody was very excited on the phone. Guess now what? Now tell me, what's the gist? Yes. Wait, did you call me to come all the way to this place to guess? Ta da! <laughs> a ring. Yes, a ring. Jason just proposed. And you accepted? <laughs> what was I supposed to do? Reject it? He is my boyfriend, remember? A boyfriend you just met a few months ago. Does it matter? The same guy you've been complaining about. Well, please can you just at least pretend to be happy with me? No, I can't pretend. Why? So uh, what complaints are you talking about? That he isn't romantic and sexually attractive? See, there's always a room for change. He's going to improve, I know. You know, if I knew this was the reason why you invited me over, I wouldn't have come. Oh, please, can you stop being a child? Are you sure about this? Okay. <clears throat> Let me ask you this. The idea of getting married makes you happy, right? But does the idea of getting married to Jason makes you happy? Tell me. Does it make you happy? We can't keep doing this. I'm getting married. Just one last time. One last time and I promise I, I won't do this with you again. me the other day if I love Jason. That I can't say. But one thing I am certain about is I'll choose you over him or anyone. This a week together thing was just a way to be with you. I knew that involving Jasmine was the only way Jason would approve of it. What was spending a week with me supposed to do? I wanted to give us a shot. I wanted to look you in the eyes and express my feelings. I also wanted to tell you about pregnancy, but it wasn't as easy as I thought. 
So what now? I don't know. But regardless of anything that happens, I won't get married to Jason. Trust me, this, this isn't even about you. I have thought about it thoroughly and Jason is not the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. He has a lot of secrets and he hides a lot from me. Uh, what do you mean? If you want to leave, you can leave. I'm just glad that you now know about the pregnancy. It is such a relief for me. like two days to spend here. You and who? You and who? You better go and pack your things. Because by the time I am done with Valerie, she will definitely throw the both of us out of this house. Just the same way Jesse is going to throw her out of this house. Life. It hurts. Hmm? One for the road. Oh. Oh. God. Um. You know, I washed some of my clothes. Um, so, am I going to carry a um, wet clothes to travel? So furious, everybody has had it. What's that thing making noise? I can see you two are set to me. What are you waiting for? Transportation money. Are you sure you don't want me to stay? I can handle this. One of you went inside my room and took the test results. I hope you've gotten what you expected. I see you all are leaving already. Well, yes, you're right. But not until I tell you that Valerie here is pregnant for Wesley. Is that true? Mm. Yes. It is true. Mm. That's good. With your full chest. Well, I hope you know you are putting that. Yes. What? Is that all you want to say? Our wedding is in a week. She can't keep that baby. Definitely not. You know I have. 
I have always doubted your love for me. But you just confirmed it. You just confirmed that you never loved me. Every normal man will be angry that his woman cheated on him. I've always known you've been sleeping with your so-called bestie. Okay! I caught you in bed with him the day I proposed to you. you confront me? Why is the wedding preparation still going on? Because he's gay. Huh? What? Yeah, you heard me. Mila. What? Um, Mila. The man you're planning to get married to is into men. Uh, George, no, you don't have to do that. Come on. Be proud of what you're doing. Come on. Yes. Jason is into men. And this here is his partner, George. What? I, I, I can't believe this. How did you know this? Well, you know, sometimes I do runs as a part-time job. On one fateful day. Ah, oh, excuse me. On one fateful day, these people booked me. Jason and
Ah. Ah. Mm. I beg now, who wants you now? Him. Hey, you wait, you can't do it. You excuse us now. Listen, I'm homosexual. Uh -huh. And he's my partner, but he's bisexual. I don't want to consider me. I want to have fun with him, but he needed a girl, so that was why we picked you up. Now, what's he make you come carry me with this? Why you not tell me that the kind of why they can't do with this now? Bros, I beg, go me. I know they do girl. Come on, come on, come on, wait. You're just going to be having fun with me. Have which fun? Okay, I know they hear what. I said, I know they do gay. I'll give you 200,000. 200,000? You say? 200K just for one night. Bros, now I'll fold you. Why not tell me price first? Deal? I don't know. When I want to start from it. I finish. Come again. She has not been crushed with this one. I never pack my things in the Bros, I have a give me my money. I don't give it. Just pay me now, I won't go. You ready to go? Yes. You send me 200 k <laughs> Oh, my life is kind of business. So, bros, thank you. Eh? I bet mean, next time when I need to go do this kind of phone, now you get my number now. Just call me. Yeah, bye bye. Okay, no one. Why you never want to touch me or get intimate with me? <laughs> you rather spend your whole day with judges than of spending it with me. <sighs> and you. Now I know why you never liked me. <laughs> because I was sharing your man with you. Yeah, your husband signed to check. Going to marry me? Why? 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 My my parents has always been worried about my single life. I had to do something to cover up. Damn you, Jason! Damn you! Cover up! I would have been a cover up for you. <gasps> You would have subjected me into an unhealthy, unhappy life for the rest of my life because of your selfishness. <laughs> you know, a few minutes ago, I, 
I was regretting why I even came up with this, this weak together thing, but now I am grateful. I am totally grateful that I did because it just saved my ass. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> You're in a bondage, you idiot! Take it! Take it! I hate you! I hate you so much! I hate you, Jason! I hate you! Oh, I hate you! Oh, I hate you! Just take it! Val! Val! What? Where's my check? Hey! Okay. Where is my check? Oh, God, just hold on! Valerie! Oh. Valerie! Hey! Hey! Go. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! My check! I just Hold on. Okay. Do you even know where this check is? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, nobody invited me here. So I'm out. Where you going? Where I'm going to Wesley. 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 Who the hell is Wesley? How do you feel? Relieved. I don't know what my life would have been if I ended up marrying Jason. I feel like a body has been lifted off my neck. How do you feel? Well, um, the good part of me feels bad that the wedding that you have always anticipated is no longer taking place. And the selfish part of me is actually glad. <laughs> so I can actually shoot my shot properly and not to forget that I'll soon be a father. Yeah. <laughs> 